Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sneaking we did. up on us. Hey, before you start playing around with this thing, because this is the time of year that we play with that thing, like to play with that thing, <laughs> we, you have to warm up. Yeah. Right? So welcome to the Critical Bench channel. I'm Coach Brian. This is Coach Chris. We're having a little fun today. Yeah, doing something different. You know, we're, we're having fun because we're inspired. We're inspired by the Super Bowl. We're inspired by athleticism. We're inspired by the, the big game. The big game. The big event. So if you're out there hanging on to your youth, hanging on to once, mm. something you once had, for instance, like Uncle Rico still has a hard time letting go of you know, losing state. So uh, <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite reference, if, in case you didn't know. But seriously, we don't like getting old and having to lose things like athleticism or the thrill of the game. So before you actually get out onto the field, uh, if you're thinking about getting uh, your cleats back on, you have gotta get warmed up properly. And we're gonna go through some exercises in this video that are some of our personal favorites to help us old guys. And yes, 30s, 40s, 50s, that's considered old when you're talking about sports. So these are exercises we use to help us feel athletic and keep us in the game. So yeah, and if you're not warming up, you know, the likelihood for injury is, is tenfold, so. So we're warming up right now as an athlete. At, we're, we're just going through a bunch of dynamic exercises right now. Uh, we've got other videos here on our channel that will give a much more in-depth feel and uh, uh, database of exercises that you're gonna be able to use. Uh, you're like, hey coach, I wanna, I wanna learn more about dynamic stretching. Well, find one of our videos here on our channel that is gonna talk just about that. So realistically, you wanna be spending five, at the bare minimum, five minutes of dynamic stretching. Ideally, 15 minutes of dynamic exercises. If I don't do it, I really feel the difference in the, in the workout. Now, dynamic stretching can look like many different things. What we're doing right now is kind of like a quick static stretch, but we're going through it pretty quick. But what you can also do too is incorporate mobility moves, uh, active stretching, partner stretching, foam rolling. All these are considered great dynamic exercises to warm up with. So we're again just loosening up the body and especially for all those old guys out there, us included, yeah. you wanna get warmed up properly. You wanna stay warm uh, throughout the entire your practice, your game, whatever. And it all comes down to the warm up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, kicking those field goals. Doing a little punting action right here. That feels good though, man. I, I'll tell you, if, just movement in general, because most of us just don't do enough dynamic movement in our, our day to day. I'll show you two more and then we're gonna move on to- uh, right. You're gonna do uh, butt, butt kicks? I was thinking world's greatest stretch. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, up high. Huh. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. I did. Only because we got the wigs on. All right, I'll go, I'll go right oh. oh, yeah. If you want to throw a little bit of an extra stretch in there. Now this stretch right here, we actually have in, in our metabolic stretching routine, is, uh, is one of the best exercises for you to stretch out and also lose weight at the same time. So, oh, man, gosh, that feels great. If you want to learn more about that metabolic stretching program, there's a couple ways you can learn about that. You can click the banner up top here because there's a link up there for it. But you can also go underneath this video. We're gonna post some links down there for you to check out, including a uh, 10 second T boosting solution for all those guys looking to increase uh, that hormone in your body. Oh, I'll tell you what, just that alone, sorry, my mullet's getting in my mouth. Um, just doing, I mean, what have we been moving for like three minutes, four minutes? Yeah, if that. You start to feel a little bit of a sweat. You start to get the heart rate up. You start to breathe a little heavy. That's when yeah. you know, okay, my body, my core temperature is getting where it needs to be. You know, you're starting, it's, it's stretching, but it's active stretching, yeah. like you're saying. It's not static stretching, which is not recommended at the start of a workout. Static stretches are, are better deeper in a workout or at the end. Do this type of dynamic movement that gets the, it gets the body going. Yeah. yeah. And, and as a strength coach, I, I've always told my athletes, and I'm like, hey, 
if you want to perform like an athlete, you have to warm up like a, an athlete. Warm up how you're going to play. Because I see, I've seen it so many times where kids just kind of go through these boring, slow-paced warm-ups, and I'm like, that does nothing. That has no translation over to actual game play. So your warm-up should look like how you play a game. Gradually, you're not going to go right onto the field and do, start doing sprints, but you should be huffing and puffing like Chris said. The body should be warmed up in a matter of minutes. So again, as us old guys get ready for this life and we want to kind of feel like we're still in the game, you got to be spending a good amount of time warming up. Uh, and, and we, we, like what you just showed you here. I mean, One of my favorites is just a simple baseball shuffle. You can go at different speeds. Again, I got this, this mullet wig is just tearing me up. Now, you can speed it up and really shuffle the feet fast or keep it slow and really sink deep into it. But this lateral motion is so critical because in sports, you're moving in all different directions, right? Yeah. You're not just moving forward and back or up and down. You're moving side to side, you're twisting. So any time you can you know, uh, duplicate or imitate those movements in your warm-up, the better you're gonna feel in, you know, in the sport, yeah. you know, moving more like an athlete. So we're gonna get into some of these great exercises. Yeah. These are, we're just highlighting now and make clear, right. there's a lot more you can do than what you see in this video, but these are just some of the ones we wanna feature because these are our favorites that we're doing all the time. Yeah. So we just took you through a, a very loosely defined dynamic warm up. Again, subscribe to our channel and uh, within our channel, there's a little tiny magnifying glass. If you click that magnifying glass on our channel and you type in warm up, stretching, flexibility, you're gonna get all of our videos mm -hmm. on that particular topic. Yes. Hundreds. Please <laughs> use that. A lot of people don't know that that is there. So a little tiny magnifying glass. Yeah, see that? Teeny tiny. tiny. I'm crushing yeah. your head. My mustache is bigger than that magnifying glass. And by the way, this is real. So please utilize that, that magnifying glass. But now dynamic. Now we're gonna go into more explosive movements. This is when the body, like you're ready to go. You're ready to, to for the whistle to blow. You're, you're ready to get into the game 100%. So that means power, explosiveness, plyometrics. This can be in the form of box jumps. Now we've got a video on our channel, the 15 must do jumping exercises or plyometric box jump exercises. It's, it's with myself and uh, Ashley. You can click that little banner up there. That's gonna take you to this, that video. But the plyometric box jump, um, it, it can be done on a box, it can be done on a big truck tire, it can be done on a, a stable uh, park bench. Yeah. People make these uh, yeah. make the, these boxes themselves. Just so, make sure it's reinforced. Real quick, I'm not breaking down the, the box jump, but it's it's pretty much explosive movements right there. It could be done on two legs, landing on one, jumping off on one, landing on two. Depth jumps, depth on, depth jumps are just jumping down. If you integrate these type of exercises, power exercises, these are going to translate to more power on the field or the court. Uh, so definitely utilize power first after you do your warm up before you do your strength. Uh, plyometrics can also be done without a box, long jumps. Uh, I also consider bounds, like single leg bounds. Yeah, We've got one of our best videos here on our channel is called Plyometrics for Speed. Mm -hmm. This was filmed years ago. So if you wanna see the history of Critical Bench in the past few years of YouTube, uh, again, go to our channel, search Plyometrics for Speed. Yeah. So if you're old like us and you wanna increase your speed using these exercises, check out that video. That's gonna give you some more tools to use to help uh, create a program. If you're, well, if you're intimidated by the height, so this is at 20 inches right here, and you say, you know, geez, I haven't done a box jump in right. 20 years. Well, then don't start there. Start with just a, a low step and do a box jump from there. I mean, it, I, I'm not trying to I mean, this is still effective exercise. Step down, jump up, and, and then build up from there, and then maybe build up to you know, 12 inches, 18 inches, until you can get to 20 or 30 inches. But I mean, you can start, this is good for any level person. It doesn't matter your, uh, your history, your athletic history. Yeah, one more thing real quick about plyometrics, uh, especially for us old guys. I'm talking to all those old guys out there. Our knees are brittle, our hips are brittle. Do plyometric exercises, bounds, leaps, jumps, things like that on a soft surface that could look like a basketball court, a wood court, that could look like artificial turf. It could be in your living room on carpet. 
Just make sure they're, or even out in the, on, on a field. Yeah, just on the Don't grass. want to do it on concrete. You, uh, you don't really want to do it on, t obviously, tile. Uh, but you, it, you want a little bit of give in there. So please take that advice. If you're young, you, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you're, you're made of rubber at that <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah. So If you're in your mid-20s or, or, or under, you can get away with a lot. Yeah, so dynamic stretches, plyometric exercises, slash power. Now, power training is something that, it's a little bit of a, a touchy subject because once you start aging, these complex movements like a hang clean, uh, you know, these, these yeah. exercises are extremely challenging. Uh, and as we age, what happens? Two things really happen. T goes down right. and our bad posture goes up. So it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deadly combination of yeah. something bad to happen. Well, our bodies are in uh, you know, unsavory positions for longer periods of time, day in and day out. So the posture, the, 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 the stabilizing muscles, all those things start to really lose their, you know, their, their yeah. strength and stability. And then, like Brian says, as you're aging, you're losing your man-making hormones. You know, they're, they're just, they're, they're getting less and less and less over yeah. time. So you have a couple of things working against you. So you have to really be aware of daily activity, right. daily activity and getting your sleep and getting the good nutrition and drinking enough water and all those other things play into it too. So yeah. uh, what, what's a, another move that, do we wanna, uh, yeah, how about yeah. a med, you wanna do med ball Let's right do some now? Some med ball stuff. So these exercises, these are stuff that we personally use here at our compound. These are kind of the exercises that we feel like, hey, we want an athletic day, we want a conditioning day. We usually, most always go to med balls we also go to tires, we go to ropes, we go to a lot of calisthenic movements because, I mean, think about it, when you're on the field, like, you're very diverse in your movement. Mm -hmm. you're, you're up, down, you're side to side. You're, so you wanna think that way as, 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 when, as you're training, be like, all right, when I'm rotating, what can I do to strengthen my rotation? Obviously, med ball work, uh, rotational work. So we kind of like put all that into play when we, build our own training because we don't want to lose our athleticism because we were all athletes at one point. Our kids are now becoming athletes. So we want to hang with the kids. We don't want our kids beating us. Hopefully someday they do, but we would try to hold on That's to that. Yeah, yeah, I don't want my eight year old kicking my butt just yet. So, and again, shocker, we have videos on med ball training. So we're just, we're just dropping nuggets into your lap right now to say, hey, we've got a lot of content that you're going to find helpful. One of the best exercises with the med ball, one of the easiest to, to begin with is just the overhead med ball slam. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is triple extension. Now as Chris is going, I'm gonna explain triple extension. A lot of old guys and old women neglect triple extension. As you can see, he's extending the hips, knees, and ankles. Hips, knees, ankles. That's your power position. You're gonna generate all of the force you need vertically from down up and also from up down. Perfect. You want to show them a crossbody? Yeah. Another alternative to that. Oh, my, to, cord, my cord's hanging out. Oh boy, tuck that thing back in. <laughs> so crossbody, you're, now you're engaging a little bit more of your abdominals. You're going across the body right here. So good. So now you can see Brian's getting that nice rotation in. He's really having to work his transverse abdominus, right? The obliques. He's getting the core really involved. Yeah. It's already involved here, but now he's just emphasizing that twisting motion of the body, which is essential yeah. Here, to that. all sport. Now, and if you've got a partner to work out with, like you call up like Bro Montana or Bro, bro Namath, Bro Pesci, all your bros, what, who, who else we got? We got oh, oh to, to, Tony Bromo. Tony Bromo. That's another bro. Uh, There's gotta be another one. Uh, 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 bro, bro Riggins. Bill Bromanowski. Bill Bromanowski, good guy. Uh, Lots of bros. I'm sure there's, oh, Bro Elway. Bro Rogan. Oh, wait, wait, no, Bron, Bron that would be or Bron. Joe, Joe Brogan. Oh, Joe Brogan, yeah. That's another one. <laughs> I was thinking John Elway. Can you say Bron Elway? I guess you could. Like, bra? <laughs> What's up, bra? Yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> well, Brian's thinking about that. Oh, no. So what exercise do you have in mind next? Oh, partner workouts. There partner. we go. Partner. So with the med ball, <laughs> square up to your partner. Scoot over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah, rotation. Yeah, absolutely. Right there. So if you're a coach, get your kids doing this. Notice how I'm facing one direction, Brian's facing the other. And then you just 
generally what happens is you get better, better motion when you face opposite directions. The ball, the way the ball comes in front of your body. So side tosses like that with a partner are great. If you don't have a partner, you can go to a wall, an exterior wall, get really close, and you could do the same exercise against the wall. Yeah, and that's just one of many med ball partner exercises. You can do chest passes, you can do single arm, underhand. Oh, gosh. You can, gosh, it really is. Yeah, the over the head one is so great. But all of these translate to power. The faster you move the ball, the more power you're going to produce. Uh, and that just equates to just total body strength. Correct. And yeah. speed and velocity and all the things that you're losing over time, over eight. And does some of the very best job at helping your hormones. Absolutely. Yeah. So spike those speaking animals. of hormones, you're really going to get the most hormone uh, boost out of heavy strength training. Now when we talk about strength training, you're building strength. You're not building size necessarily, you're building true strength. And as we age, you just lose raw strength because just the decline of your T hormone drops. And so now would be a good time to transition away from power into strength. We, we're not going to show you really any exercises, but think of your compound movements, squats, deadlifts, pull-ups, bench press, you've got um, be a bent over barbell rows, you've got tire flips, kettlebell swings, you've got sled pushes, you've got rack carries. Uh, I know that's just the, the basics, but even selectorized machines, uh, a, a hack squat, um, gosh, there really is. Oh, Smith machine allows you to do a lot of things Dumbbells, safely I mean, if you don't have a partner. Yeah, compound movements, it just, in other words, you're moving more than one joint at a time. A bicep curl is not a compound movement. An overhead press with dumbbells is a compound movement, shoulders and, and elbows. Now, if you throw in like a squat to a press, that is a awesome exercise to boost. Thrusters. Yeah, yeah. It, to, to boost best. your T. So integrate those. Again, we've got those exercises right here on our channel. Uh, strength, now real quick in 30 seconds. Strength, heavier weights, less reps. So if you want to build strength, you want to get strong as an ox, strong as you were when you were 18, heavier weights, less rep, more rest period. Eat a sandwich in between sets, uh, scroll through Facebook or Instagram or whatever old people do, uh, the Yellow Pages or Reader's Digest, I don't know. But you're gonna have a lot of time in between sets because you're lifting heavier weights, yeah. but only for a few reps at a time. Push the, push the envelope, lift heavy. You can lift heavy up until you're 100 years old plus. Don't be afraid, be like, oh, I'm getting old, my bones hurt. Well. Put some muscle on your bones, they won't hurt anymore. So that's all I'm gonna say about strength. Well, yeah, strength training makes your, your bones stronger. Yeah. yeah go figure. So your, your body is a, an adaption machine. So the, the more you, uh, you know, and obviously you gotta ramp things up intelligently, but the more uh, 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 intense lifting you put on the body, the more intense stress you put on the body, the more your body responds to that and says, I want to do better the next time. So your bones and your muscles and all the connective tissue uh, do what they can, do their job, so that the next time you go to move the body or move that weight that same way, it, it can perform better. Yeah, so that, you absolutely. Know, that you can't, like, and the science all proves that. So strength training as we age, just you have to, the technique has to be there. You know, you have, do, it, do it intelligently, follow a program, and you'll get great and, results. And not just for men, more importantly yeah, yeah. for women as well, mm -hmm. because they, they have a higher uh, chance of developing some kind of bone disease, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, osteoporosis yeah. for women. Not necessarily men, men still are susceptible to it, but women especially need to focus on strength training their bones so they just don't have brittle bones. All right, so I know we're trying to wrap this all up, but now strength, again, through the eyes of a strength coach talking to an athlete or a former athlete, you're gonna have injuries. All of this that we just showed you is gonna mean nothing if you don't address your injuries. So all throughout these exercises and these training styles, you need to focus on good range of motion. Uh, you need to be a little bit more in tune with your body awareness. If you've got a nagging shoulder pain, don't bench press, don't do anything overhead. You might not even be able to do anything with your arm strength related until you fix your injury. So warm it up is crucial, but sometimes you need to focus on the, the, the uh, call it like the base work, your mobility, your stability, your strength. Now, but if you're good after your strength, that's when you want to reinforce what's good and go into stability, balance training, uh, proprioception work, 
your core work, things like that. Uh, so now would be a good time after you do your power, do your strength, would be balance work, like I said. All the secondary muscles, your core work, your abdominal work. All those muscles that you don't want fatigued or pre-fatigued before exactly. you're doing explosive and heavy weights. Yeah. You don't want to be doing like all your, like Chris just said, all your core work at the beginning because your core is your, really your backbone of all the exercises. If this goes, your form's gonna go on all of the other lifts you just yeah. did. If you fatigue your abdominal muscles and then go to do heavy squats, you're doing yourself a disservice and you might injure yourself because you don't have the stability to, to hold the body in, in position. Yeah. So, so follow that order and uh, you'll, you'll, you know, and it doesn't need to be, it could be, you know, a, a good warm up for five or 10 minutes, pick one or two, yeah. uh, you know, uh, power movements, right? Pick one or two strength movements and pick one or two stability movements yeah. and do multiple sets and that could be your whole workout. And we, uh, and again, a, a few minutes ago at the beginning of this video, I talked about that program, Metabolic Stretching. Perfect for men and women looking to restore some flexibility and also some, to lose some weight. So if you get the best of both worlds, in, in mm. such a short 10 minute workout, yeah. 10 exercises require no resistance at all. Body weight only. If you want more information on that, you can click the pin link under this video. Again, a great exercise for us, 30 years and older, even if you're 80 years old watching this video, it's perfect for you because it's, there's a beginner's version and an advanced version. So I highly encourage you to check out that. Um, I think that's it. I think we covered it. I think you covered. I think this wig is so tight that it's really squeezing all the, in, smart yeah, stuff you, you, out of you my You look brain. and sound really smart right now. Oh, 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 I thought it was the other, the opposite oh. effect. It's fine, you don't, no, you t psh, 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 psh. So, totally. So huh. that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Drop a comment below. I know you've got a comment or a question. And please subscribe to our channel for more great content like this video. Can't promise they're gonna be as funny as this video here, but they're gonna definitely help you transform your life and transform your body. Have a good day. We'll see you in the next video. See ya.